Growing up, I listened and played as a kid um, a lot of acoustic bluegrass country type stuff that my dad showed me. And he would show me these little stock licks that he had, like just a... You know. You know, and you get, after a while you get them, it's just rote memory like anything else. But um, when I got older and went to GIT and I actually specifically started taking some uh, classes from Steve Travato, he got me into the whole idea of the same licks. He was showing me the same licks that I learned 15 years earlier, but he had me doing them with hybrid picking, you know, where it was like, where your finger's playing, and he had these little stock things like, you know, where again, if you could pick them, great, but it sounds kind of sloppy and sterile. And the finger thing always came naturally to me. I don't know if it was from listening to a lot of bluegrass or banjo type stuff, but um, I always uh, gravitated toward anything involving using your fingers, you know, besides your pick. I know every time I play chords, I always was big into comping with my fingers, you know, no matter what I was doing. And even a little bit of classical stuff I learned earlier on. So it's just evolved, you know, through the years of when I'm playing licks. Even sometimes I don't realize it. I'm not playing my standard. Like, I'm using my finger. And I don't realize it. It just goes that way. So whether you're doing chords, or you're doing little simple. You know, stuff like that. It just comes, comes out. Best way to practice it is take little simple things and uh, like we were doing before with the uh, that's simple because you're just playing the string next to you okay to get that banjo-y kind of uh, rebound sound i like to call it what you want to do is like a simple little hammer on pull off lick you can do it either from an open position or from a fretted position but from here like an open position like i was doing earlier where you're gonna hit a note hammer on and then Pick another one, and then you got that going on. Big part of it is the mute. You have your finger, your, your uh, palm of your hand down, muting. What I was doing earlier was I was incorporating that with a bunch of hammer-ons. This is the static note right here. So if you watch my middle finger, becomes almost automatic okay so um, to break this down make it a little simpler basically we're working off a bunch of different patterns that combine to give you that rolling sound and what we're doing is um, taking off the open A we're hitting the open A and we're going to hammer on the C and the D and then the hybrid picking comes in when you hit the E note on the D string. So you can sit there and just go. So these notes, these are the notes you hear. A, C, D, E. And we're going to play. And the thing that makes it sound a little more staccato better is when you get that little palm mute going. So when it's open, Sounds good, but it's a little too loud, a little abrasive, a little uh, mixed up. So when you get this going, more definition going on. So once you have that A, C, D, E, all you do is you come down and hit your open E and do the exact same movement. E, G, A. Okay? It's a great practice. You just sit there and... doing was I'm doing kind of a sequence of four thing where I'm going I'm going I'm hammering on here but hammering back here I'm like going throwing this in between and to make it sound a little more interesting 
thing. I'm throwing in the uh, the F here above the E. So I guess you could call it more of like an E Phrygian. I'm leaving the B out. about this is that you're actually getting notes without picking them by just using the legato portion of your hand by just of course just go across the A and do the same thing technique you can move anywhere you want I'm just taking out it E minor Thank you so much for watching GuitarBreakdown.com and our hybrid picking lesson. This is the first of many more to come. We just scratched the surface. We're going to have all kinds of stuff involving chicken picking, banjo rolls, all kinds of hybrid picking ideas to help you with your playing. I'm Mike Lawler with GuitarBreakdown.com. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you again next time.